Well, hello guys, welcome back. Yeah, I know a lot of stuff in one day, but we, we've kind of been doing stuff. We're kind of doing these kind of, kind of woo videos, and I'm already not agreeing with everything, but, you know, they kind of make you feel good, and they kind of make you feel up, and I've been feeling good and up because I've been practicing paying attention to all the animals lately. I'm getting a ton of birds, because it seems like once you start paying attention, everything, you know, everything you notice. And I've been having a discussion back and forth with some of you about, you know, um, why some of us left the church and that. And I won't want any impressionable people that are having trouble currently in their church to think, well, I'm just going to give this up and I'm going to go become a pagan and all my problems are going to disappear. Pagans don't recruit. Witches don't recruit. If you see somebody recruiting for their specific god or goddess, they're doing it wrong. Because we do not recruit. We sincerely believe that if you're meant to be a witch, if you're meant to be a pagan or something, you will just feel a calling. It doesn't have to be something spectacular. You'll just feel a calling and it will work. Because it's a really hard path to walk. A lot of it is wonderful and magical, but it is is also a very hard path to walk because we don't there are people who have tried let me put it that way but we don't have a book to hand you to say this is what you should do about jesus this is what you should do about god this is what you should do about mysticism this is what you should do about the after we don't have that i have books that people wrote like that that they thought would be an exhaustive thing to leave behind the general problem with books is that they work exactly for one person, the person that wrote it, because they truly, even with their best, highest meaning, they meant the world, you know, they meant to hand you everything, but there's always going to be something that's not in that book. I don't care how big it is. So, you know, when I tell people to, you know, have reflection, have prayer time, have retreats, because I did that. And for me, I just found out that I'm incompatible with the idea of Jesus can be fluffy and loving and kind and sweet and so can God and I can kind of tiny tiny teeny tiny bit accept that but I know the one I'm supposed to be working with is Odin. Loki's in semi-permanent retirement which means he gets to be more of a pain in the ass than usual follow us around and go eh, eh, eh. And, you know, get in the way and do everything else. And he's enjoying it. He's reveling in it. Now it's time for me to shift to Odin, which doesn't mean it's becoming like the all Odin all the time channel. We're both very relieved and we've both been doing healing work. And right now what we're trying is we're watching, like I said, this kind of woo videos. But you guys know I try to protect you. It's a wolf in me. I try to protect you, that way if it blows up in my face, only I get burnt and you guys will be fine. That's pretty bad I did go into healing work with, but you know what I mean. Um, if I find something that makes me want to crawl and hide in the corner, it only happened to me, it didn't happen to you. Um, I, the skeptic in me and the Loki in me is already finding flaws and poking holes, so far it won't last long, but it's, it's okay for a weekend. And it made me feel so good that there had been this tchotchke I saw on eBay. And I don't need this damn thing, okay? That's how all my stories begin. I don't need this damn thing. And I have found lights out in the garage. Because I remembered I have these blue and black glass bats. At least I think I should. And it's in like a chain and it was after nightfall and I'm going on and I'm trying to find them and you know I'm like I know I have these Odin I know I have them unless did I did I throw them out I can't remember and I'm trying to find them and I'm trying to find them oh god I think I threw them out I'm not sure but anyhow I'm trying to find them and I'm finding everything else but I found a cute little teapot I found these lights um and I keep going back to this stupid tchotchke that's actually, it's, um, there used to be a place called the Trading Post. I think there was something else, first part of the name, but they would sell all the stuff that supposedly was made by people from the First Nations, because now that I'm older and wiser, I realize you don't know where it came from. And 
They would have some stuff that looked legitimate, that looked like it was made by actual First Nations artists. And then they would have stuff from China. <laughs> and they were honest. They left, like, the Chinese label and add on it. And they had these obnoxious light-up plates and everything. Remember, like, the color-changing plates, like, back in the 90s and that? We were all like, ooh, because that technology was new at one time, guys. It really was. It, like, comes by, like, every couple of decades. I think it came by, like, first in the 50s. Then it goes away, and then it comes back. But these were these, like, light-up plates and that, and they were so obnoxiously done. And it was like, you could tell it was a wolf, but it didn't look anything remotely like the beautiful animal running around in the woods. Um, and they would always be expensive. They would charge like $45 or something for these plates, and I would always think are so magical. And <laughs> I'm hearing, uh, back here. And we, ha we saw this thing on eBay, and is probably the most obnoxious looking piece of light up wolf art I've ever seen. And I'm saying to Odin, oh that is so beautiful. And Odin had told me no. And he pointed out how tacky it looks. So I'm like, that's the entire point of these things. They're like the tackiest art on the planet. And he just sighed and then the price went down. I went and I looked at it. And we're doing all this kind of woo videos, right? So I said, look, universe, if I'm supposed to get this this thing because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling so much for it. I'm really driven to get it. And it's like tacky and it's like six inches. It's not big or anything. Can you please give me a sign I can't mistake? And I got all these light pins out of nowhere on my Pinterest, but I still didn't do anything. I told Loki, I said, I know what's going to happen. Let's say I do order it and I get it. I said, what I'm really thinking of in the back of my head is that it's going to suddenly become huge. There's going to be a waterfall and smoke and the lead guitarist from Led Zeppelin or something is going to be playing guitar riffs. I said, I know that's what I think I'll get. And I'm going to get this tiny little light up doodad and I'm going to just look at it. I said, I know that's probably what I'm thinking. And it is the most ugly, obnoxious thing I've ever seen. But I have a, a, this strange attraction to it because I love ugly tchotchkes. I have these really... You have to really love kitsch to love them. They're like these pink bunnies. And there's the mama bunny, and there's, like, two bunnies chained to her. They're, like, from the 50s or 60s. They're, like, the most obnoxious, pop-out-your-eyes, pet to pink you have ever seen. I love them to death. They're up in the cabinet, and I'm like, Oh, look at the wolf! It's so small! We could put it on the desk, and we could look at it every day. Or, you know, I could be bored with it in five minutes, and then I'd be in the cabinet. I forget I had it. But... It was just, it's at least a good sign that I'm looking at stuff and I'm having a more positive attitude. So I thought I'd share that with you, but that's really important for me that I don't knock anyone else off of the path that you feel you should be on. Um, I had a really hard time when I was coming over to Wicca. There was no choice. You had to become Wicca the whole way. There was no crystal Wicca or anything at the time, so, you know... That's why, to me, I would never want somebody to come and take my gods for me. I would never want someone to come and take my gods for me. So I make sure I go out of my way that people know that, you know, we don't recruit as witches or pagans or anything else. We do not recruit people because we feel if you're meant to be with a god and work with them long term, it'll happen. And it will not be easy. It's not easy not being the default religion. I'm not saying it's a you know, trial suffering and oh, it's so horrible, but it's not always easy. So, just so you know that, and you know, um, we really appreciate the healing time today because even if these people are woo, they have basic right ideas. You should let go of shit because it will kill you. You should let go of all these angry feelings, and you should let go of all this other stuff, and you should think. What am I angry about? What am I resentful about? And just sit down and kind of work with it. You don't have to do this for hours at a time. Just kind of sit down and when it feels like you've done enough and you've let it go, get up, go on with your day. It doesn't have to be torture. Um, 
I used to do guided meditation that I was taught. And I've noticed Odin goes out of his way to stop me from doing it. And there came a period of time where I just could not do it anymore for whatever reason. So I've learned to develop other, just kind of casually do stuff. But uh, I'm still thinking about that little part. I don't know why. And it's like, we need this. Like, we need a hole in the head. We just cleaned this house. And I was like, you know, I knew this would happen. That the moment I would clean clean the house and it would be everything the universe would be like hey now that you got the space look at this neat thing look at that neat thing which is kind of what Loki was telling me and kind of what Odin was telling me too he's like why do you think we had you clean the whole house and it's it's not a fortune Loki's in favor of ugly and tacky and Odin's just like And Loki and I are looking at it, and it's it's made all ceramic or something. We're like, could we burn incense in that? Because that would be beautiful. It would light up and have incense wafting out of it. And Odin's already removed himself from the conversation. He's like, you know what? Do what you want, because you're not going to listen to me. But that thing is ugly. I don't want it on my altar. Stay away from me. <laughs> so we're going to have to see. I'm I'm really seriously tempted, but, you know, I have this thing where I get really seriously tempted to buy stuff, and then I go and I buy it, and then, mm, you know, maybe, you know, like three or four days later, it sets in, why did I buy that? I could have went out and did this or did that, so I do try to strike a balance, but we'll see. I'm going to see, like, I, t I told the universe, I'm talking to the universe, God, Loki, whomever, that if you really want me to get this... And then I had that ton of Pinterest signs, and I'm like, well, you know what would really help? Show me that exact thing, and I will be like, okay, I will go out and get it. And I haven't even seen anything remotely like it, because I got interested, and I tried to look up the history and stuff. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.